This video will show you how to pull up lab test results, imaging studies, as well as dictated reports for your patients. From this screen, we always click Physician Desktop. There are two ways to pull up your patients. You can click up Inpatient to pull up your current uh, patients that are um, in the hospital. This is useful for making rounds. You would click one time to highlight the patient you're interested in and click open chart. From the open chart, I always advise physicians to click other visit. From this screen, you always want to choose all under the view tab And the reason is, by clicking that All button, when you click Laboratory, for example, to see a patient's lab, it will give you every, in this case, CBC this patient's ever do, had done, and not just for this um, admission. That's also is true for imaging and uh, dictations, as you can see. Let me X out of this to show you the other way you can pull up patient data. You can click any record right here and down here I would choose you can either choose only your inpatients that you want to search or you can click all patients. I'll click all patients here. And here I would type in a test patient called PCS Glory. I type in the last name, comma, the first name. I click OK. Apparently there are two patients with the same name. This is the patient I was interested in. So I click that and again we see the screen that I had shown you earlier. This patient has had five hospital stays at this hospital. I will remind you again to always click all under view. This now compresses all the data from all her stays or any outpatient testing the patient has ever had done so that now when I click laboratory and we go to hematology as you can see it gives you in chronological order all the CBC's this patient's ever had done. I want to highlight the earlier button down here. By clicking earlier it can go back in time to show you all the CBC she's had done. You can click chemistry for example, you can click coag studies um, and again there's the earlier button down here so you can go back in time. Another interesting feature is for example under chemistry and I'm worried about this patient's blood sugars only, her glucose only. I can click the word glucose and it will bring up only her glucose results. Even more interesting, if I wish to share this with the patient in a meaningful way, I can click Graph. And from here you can choose over what period you want to show the patient. Sometimes in my office I will show her over the past 60 days. I will say, Mrs. Smith, this is what your blood sugar has been doing. Oftentimes patients don't understand um, absolute numbers, but when you show them in graphical form, I think that makes more um, impact on, on the understanding. To uh, exit out of here I just click cancel. So that's how you pull up labs. To pull up imaging studies click imaging and it will give you every exam this patient's ever had done as far as imaging and you will want to click the bubble under the word report to pull up uh, an imaging. Now this was just a test patient obviously so um, no real data was uh, transcribed. What I find extremely useful is this tab called Other Reports. This brings up all dictations, all H&Ps, all discharge summaries, all consult reports um, and again to view the dictation you want to click the bubble under the word report and it gives you obviously that dictation.